Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see what are the application of differential equation. So till now we have solved many problems on differential equation, but uh, why we are solving this problem? Why we need to solve all those lengthy equation? Why we need to make the equation exact? Why we need method of variation of parameters? Why we need linear differential equation? Why? Why we have to solve the differential equation? So for to answer this all wise, uh, we will take an example. So here we have a problem on electric circuit. So in an electric circuit having inductance L, resistance R and voltage E, the current is given by this equation. Find the current I at any time T if I equal to zero at T equal to zero and L, R and E are constant. So here if we have one electric circuit consisting of inductance, resistance R, and voltage e and the current the current is given by this equation but we need to find the current so we need i equal to some equation so that some equation in terms of t let's say i equal to t plus 2 plus t square so we need to find current at any time t so let's say if we are given time equal to find the current at 3 seconds so we just put t equal to 3 in the equation and we will get the current after 3 seconds so but we need to make some equation something like this but here if you see here it is a differential equation which is given by l di by dt plus r into i equal to e that is we have to solve this equation so that we can find i equal to some function of t okay so if you see if i take this l in the denominator i will get di by dt plus r by l into i equal to e by l so if you observe this equation this equation is similar to dy by dx plus p into y equal to q what is this equation this equation is nothing but linear differential equation as we all know so in this equation y will be replaced by i which is the current and x will be replaced by t okay so if we replace y by i and x by t we get this equation where p is this term and q is this term okay so these are our p and q and this equation first we find what is an integrating factor which is given by e raised to integration of p into dx here we used to write dx since here it is dx so here we have dt so here we write dt then the solution is given by y into integrating factor equal to integration of q into integrating factor dx plus some constant here also the formula remains the same instead of y we will write i so i into integrating factor equal to integration of q into integrating factor here we have dx in the denominator so we wrote dx here we have dt so dt plus c so as you can see these two equations are similar and the formula for if is this and the final solution of to find the current i is this 